This video describes how to run a discovery query to see which hosts or devices were scanned using a specific credential. This query will show the last successful access for all hosts, network devices, and SNMP managed devices. Prior to running the query, you need to replace this field with the host name or IP address of the appliance being used. When you run this query, the results look like this. Since the search was done on more than one node kind, you get what is called a multi-kind result. From here, we'll select the hosts. The results show the host name, the last credential ID, credential type, last Windows proxy, and a credential URL, which will be used later. Note that the query does not return the credential name, only a unique credential identifier. The search service intentionally does not have access to credential information for security reasons. The credential type refers to the type of discovery done. Hosts that reside in a cloud are discovered via the cloud credential. For these, no credential ID is set. There could be multiple credential types listed for a single host. For example, if a host was running a Microsoft SQL server, there could be a credential for the host and also a credential for the database listed. The last Windows proxy field will only be populated for Windows scans where a credential proxy was used. This field will contain either the credential proxy name, as seen here, or an outpost credential proxy if the scan was run from an outpost. The last credential ID from this query can be used to return the host name of all hosts that have used the credential in their last access. In this query, we have specified a last credential ID from the previous query. We'll run the query, and this displays a list of hosts that have used the credential in their last access. To look up the credential itself, we'll return to the results of the first query. Here, we will copy the credential URL and paste it into a browser tab. We can now see the actual the credential that was used. To look up credentials for cloud services, we will use this query. Again, replace this field with the appliance host name or, or IP address. We'll run the query, and we can see information about the cloud services, the credential ID, and the credential type. Thank you.